Okay, let's start. Hello, everyone. Uh, I hope you can hear me. In case you cannot hear me, uh, just type to the chat box so that I can figure out what's the problem. Uh, in this recitation, I'm going to walk you through assignment two. Uh, the first part of the assignment is pretty straightforward. Uh, I assume that most of the uh, most of you have gone through the process of uh, creating an account on WeChat and uh, connecting it to the bandwidth. Uh, in case you haven't, there are pretty good discussion about this uh, on Piazza. Uh, so the only thing that you need to do for this part is to go through uh, levels five to ten. Uh, and for the submission, uh, just be careful about uh, your readme. Uh, it's case sensitive. It should be all in capital without any extension. No .txt after the readme. Uh, and in order to save your progress, you don't need necessarily to run retail command uh, in every step or every level, uh, if you can just uh, run the command uh, when you're done, it will, go, uh, it will save your progress. The part of the homework asks you to uh, implement a secure house, uh, somehow like uh, what was discussed in the class. Uh, this has uh, have several policies. The first one is uh, it has uh, several authorized key. Uh, people can enter the house with the authorized key if they first insert the key, then turning the key, and finally they can enter the house. Firefighters have their own special key that they can use to enter the house. Uh, and these three steps for entering the house uh, might happen and uh, not exactly uh, followed by each other. They might be other commands or events bearing them. And the first, I'm going to go uh, through the description of the, this part. After that, I'm going to answer uh, common asked questions. So a brief description. Uh, here is the command that you should run your program with. Uh, the first command after uh, the name of the program should be uh, the owner name uh, followed by keys, uh, which are all the authorized key. Uh, after running your program, your program should be able to uh, execute several events. Uh, the first one, uh, for example, here is uh, insert the key where for inserting the key, uh, anyone can insert the key, insert any key that they wish to. But the second command, which is turn key, uh, only the keys that are, not everyone would be uh, able to turn the key. Uh, so the response would be uh, success or failure according to the policy. Uh, the final step of entering the house would be enter house. Uh, again, according to, to the policy, it would return access denied or access allowed. One can see uh, who's inside the house by this command of who's inside. Uh, uh, so the result would be uh, nobody home if no one is home. Otherwise, uh, you should print out the name of people who are in the house uh, ordered by their access time. Uh, the next command, is, next event would be uh, change lock, where only the owner of the house can change the lock. Uh, and while the owner is inside the house. So the response for this one again would be access denied or okay. And the final command uh, is leave house username where if the username is in the house, we should say okay, otherwise username not here. 
Here is an example of uh, the common foreign program and uh, given input and their expected output. Uh, for the implementation, uh, you should be careful that uh, your program should be able to run on Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, if you don't have this, uh, you may need to use a virtual machine. Uh, uh, two test scripts is provided for you. One of them is test.sh, the other one is test underline debug.sh. In order to run these two scripts, uh, you should go through a step one to three here. Uh, and for the submission, you, can, you should only uh, upload your source code make file and readme file. Again, the names matter here. Be careful about your naming and the name of your program should be exactly the same as what, what was in the explanation of the homework. Uh, the common question that people ask, uh, for getting uh, input, someone asked if they should get inputs all in all together uh, or line by line so it, it doesn't matter because actually you're gonna process uh, each line separately uh, so it's not something that you should consider uh, it's the same exact thing for output it doesn't matter whether you uh, give back the response for uh, each event at the moment or uh, return the responses all together. Uh, and also you should take inputs as long as there is an input. Um, for entering the house part, uh, the three steps, as I mentioned before, the three steps for opening the door may not happen exactly one after each other. That's something you should consider while implementing. And you should make sure only the user that inserted the key can, there, can turn the key. And only the user that has turned the key can enter the house. If you uh, consider uh, these things, you should be able to go through the process of entering the house uh, for who's inside even. Uh, people ask if firefighters uh, have name. Yes, firefighters have name. Their key should act like any other key. Uh, and yes, their name is shown uh, when the command Mm, or the event whose inside runs. Mm, the next question here, uh, someone asked uh, uh, for the uh, in, uh, who's inside the house event. Uh, the case uh, where there are more than one person in the house, uh, be careful that you should, your response must be comma separated list of users. Any other formatting for the printing is not accepted. Uh, for changing the logs, someone asked, what if someone who's already in the house try to enter again? So there won't be a problem because uh, people ha might have same name. So as long as they have authorized key, they can enter the house. So we can have multiple people with the exact same name. Mm, for changing the lock, uh, when the owner, we said that only the owner while inside can, set up, can change the lock. Change, when the owner change the lock, change the keys, I mean, uh, new keys uh, 
are not going to append to the previous one. Instead, it's going to replace all the old keys with a new one, except for the firefighter key that's always remained the same. So the, and the leave the house event is pretty straightforward. Again, every event and the response is case sensitive. Make sure to write the outputs according to the structure that provided for, that's provided for you. And here that you have a test uh, script uh, just because if you run your program with the test research and see uh, it's okay if the response is okay does not mean uh, it does not guarantee you're gonna pass all the test cases in the grade scope when you upload your code in the grade scope uh, you can see the result of each test case for your code uh, so I'm gonna get back to you to see if I have any questions for me. I think so far I've gone uh, through all the questions. I'm gonna wait a few more minutes for you to see if you have any questions. Uh, someone asked, they don't know how to ask their question. So you can type it here. If you're, you're not comfortable with typing it here, you can come to office hours or ask on Piazza. Anyway, I'm waiting for you to see if I can. What do you mean by you pass test cases but not autograder? Can you clarify your question? Uh, because uh, as I told you, just because you passed these, the test that SS doesn't mean you passed all the test cases. It's just a simple test case. There are uh, different test cases in the autograder. So I have appreciate if you can clarify your question. If I'm understanding your question correctly, no. The test case that the test that is in the test.sh or test underline debug.sh is not exactly what the autograder is gonna test your code with. Autograder has different test cases for different situations. So, but as long as your program uh, work with all these policies that we mentioned here. Your program should be able to pass all the test cases that are in the autograder. Otherwise, you can see the output of the autograder and try to figure out what, your pro what the problem with your code is. Or if you don't understand, you can ask your question on Piazza or even here if you're comfortable with.
I'm gonna wait a few more minutes to see if people have questions.
Yes. <laughs> the bad 